Hi everybody, I'm Oliver and today we're going to be looking at species profile for the European Greenfinch Chloris Chloris. The European Greenfinch's range extends further than just Europe, also being recorded as a resident in North Africa and Western Asia with introduced populations found in Southern Australia, New Zealand and even Uruguay. It's the European greenfinch that is the most common of the greenfinch species kept in captivity, alongside those such as the black-headed greenfinch and the Himalayan greenfinch. They are commonly found in woodland, farmland and gardens, with evergreen dense trees being a particular favourite of theirs. In captivity, the European greenfinch can be found in two different styles. The wild type meaning the exact same as those observed in the wild, generally rather small, similar in size to a sparrow, and the exhibition type. These birds are far larger than their wild counterparts, generally being darker green with less areas of grey feather, a rounder shape and larger heads. I have kept and bred both types, and it's important to make sure that when buying and selling these birds, they're closed wrong in accordance to the law. They take a ring size E, 3.1 millimetres in diameter on the inside. In the UK, the two approved distributors of closed rings for British birds are the British Bird Council and the International Ornithological Association. In my experience keeping this species over the past few years, I found the best diet is a seed mix consisting of milk thistle, perilla, small black sunflower seed, pine seeds, spruce seeds, rowan berries and safflower. The least goes to waste with this mix and it works out quite nicely in making sure that no money is wasted on seed that's going to be left uneaten. Greenfinches also enjoy live food such as mealworms, pinky maggots and wax worms. These are things that I offer in moderation throughout the breeding season, especially when the chicks have just hatched and they're rearing them for those first few days. When rearing young, I make sure to offer the parents egg food. You can find my recipe in the description to this video or in the top right hand corner. This consists of various blended vegetables, supplements and a basic dry egg food mix to give the youngsters all the essentials for growth. I also offer germinated seed. This consists of various seeds which are readily germinated. This is things such as mung beans, niger, rape seed, safflower, dari, wheat and lettuce seeds. The birds take this quite readily, both parents feeding their youngsters and the youngsters when they've just fledged the nest. It also helps keep them hydrated by providing them that moisture content which they need when they're still in the nest. In the summer of 2021, I built this block of flight specifically designed to breed green finches. We've had good results so far in the 2022 breeding season, four of the five pairs nesting, rearing strong clutches of three to four chicks each time. The perches are set at different heights to encourage the birds to keep fit. I also encourage this by offering water baths on the floor, making the birds fly vertically back up to the perches, working more muscles and thus keeping them in good physical condition. I use external wire baths as feeding stations, which makes easy access for myself and limited disturbances inside the flight. I have tried a variety of nest sites over the past few years, including hang on the front pans, external nest sites and platforms for them to build on. However, I've achieved the most success using an L-shaped platform with a cocoa nest liner and natural perch at the front plus fake plants surrounding it as cover and privacy for the hen. I usually offer one single nest site, however in the next breeding season I will offer two to give them the choice and to limit parent birds removing chicks from the nest prematurely when wanting another clutch. In the flights and around the nest site, I do offer other areas of cover with both artificial and real plants, the best real plants being evergreen species like conifer and pine. I also cover the front of the flights with a green scaffold netting, which helps keep them calm and reduce fright from predators such as hawks or cats, which often can't be seen throughout the netting. Green finches are prone to coccidiosis, therefore it's recommended that you regularly treat them for this disease. My preference is Baycox at 2.5% concentration, 3 ml per litre of water for 3 to 4 days per month. There are various other medications on the market available, such as other sulphur drugs and coccidiosis medications, which you can also use. Before separating young birds from the parents, I make sure to treat them with a coccidiosis medication two days prior and two days after from separating. 
The stress of moving young birds away from their parents to an unfamiliar environment can make them more prone to coccidiosis, therefore you might experience losses without it. When molting, it's important to offer a varied diet to give them plenty of vitamins and proteins, both vital in the production of keratin, which is a major component in growing feathers. I use a soluble vitamin supplement in their water and add protein powder to their egg food. Once the molt is complete and you've chosen the green finches you want to show, the show cage requirement in the UK is a size 3 British finch show cage. A gloss black on the outside, a gloss Georgian green on the inside and front is the show cage that you need. The specific requirements for show cages in the UK is in the link in the description. During the period before the shows, Make sure you show cage train your birds, making them steady and calm around people in a smaller cage than they used to typically. Hopefully you have enjoyed this species profile on the European Greenfinch. Perhaps you're looking to get a pair or two now, but, or if not, hopefully you have enjoyed learning a thing or two about this beautiful British finch species. If you have enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more, please subscribe down below so you don't miss any more future content from OC Avery. And if you have enjoyed the video as well, smash a like on it. It's very much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you in the next one.